what's up guys this is nightwing 2303 from moretesters.com today i just want to give you guys my thoughts on the air jordan 4 retro oreo or tech gray so with that being said let's go ahead and get right into it all right guys so here they are these things i think are just gorgeous um it's actually one of my least favorite like colors on the shoe um but i love the the, the tech gray uh basically that they use along the midsole and i love that it's splattered also uh just like the uh, white and cements and if you wanted a side by side on the colors you can see right here that the cement much darker than the uh, the tech gray um, That they use on the Oreos this I believe was what this looked like back in 1999 I, I don't know for sure because I don't have a pair, but I do know that this uh, Darker shade is a little bit closer to the original release whereas in 99 when they released these guys They kind of look like this with a like a lighter shade of gray as for the shoe itself You can see that these things are just butter I love these. My wife said that they look like those old man shoes uh, that you see with like a Velcro strap, uh, like the all blacks. And it kind of like, I kind of agreed with her. So, um, but I still like them. So it is what it is. Overall quality, same exact stuff that we saw on the Columbia Force. Uh, only difference is that it's black leather, obviously. So, um, but other than that, the, the material quality is nearly identical. Something I did want to mention about these, um, the more that I wear them, the more comfortable they are. Uh, it's actually one of my most used shoes that I own right now. I almost wear these every single day, especially if I'm going to work. They don't show too much wear, um, in my opinion at least. They do crease, but I don't think it's a big deal, uh, personally. The, the creases, it's supposed to crease. Uh, it's a shoe. But, um, the, the leather's so nice that it doesn't like you know just get destroyed or whatever it shows like nice natural wear and as long as you get them your actual size then you're not going to have a big issue with creasing anyways and then the cushion was something that i wasn't impressed with whatsoever when i first tried them on but these just like an original model you just kind of have to break these things in and they just feel awesome I, even for a 1989 type of tech uh, i i really 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 enjoy wearing these on a daily basis now something that i think would have set these guys off um, and the other ones is that if they would have included maybe a polyurethane insole which i believe they used to put in with the original models i'm not 100 percent sure but i do know that my old retro fives back from high school uh the white and metallic silvers those are actually getting a retro release this year but those had a polyurethane mid, uh, insole with the shoe and it just kind of beefed up that comfort level um, in my opinion so i i hope that they kind of do that again because right now they're just giving us those standard insoles um but if they wanted to step things up a notch that polyurethane insole would be killer just a quick detailed look at everything don't want to waste too much time or anything like that i really enjoy the the leather um heel versus the plastic and then i remember back in the day like the the netting being gone from these two areas i always thought that that looked really funny and for whatever reason i actually really like it now but yeah i just really enjoy these um i love i love this paint spotter i just think it looks wicked um i believe the uh the 99 pair was heavily splattered versus this is like lightly speckled and i always thought that these had uh, leather wings but i guess they've always had this plastic wing so that was one thing i never had the originals of these so um but uh, that's one thing that i was a little surprised by when i pulled these out of the box i was like oh man these are not leather i thought that the uh, old school retro plus without the netting had leather wings but not all of them just the columbia's and that will pretty much cover it um i like i said really enjoy these shoes the more that you wear them the more comfortable they get at least in my opinion not just from the material standpoint but from the cushion as well so they've done something for sure with these polyurethane midsoles because i cannot wear the uh, previous retros for very long because they really hurt my feet. For our sizing, I would recommend just going true to size if you're unsure about your size, but um, with these, I could probably go down, have a size and be comfortable once the breaking process is done, but I do really prefer just the regular size nine. And that'll cover it. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you guys wanted these, I hope that you were able to grab them. And uh, retail price was 190. So I believe they were available in all sizes, but I'm not positive about that. Um, I know that the last version was. So thank you guys again, and until next time, guys, have a good one.